Hi kids, this is Vicar Andy again with another gospel chat, and gospel means good news. So I have good news to share with you today. Before we get to that good news though, I have a little guessing game to play with you. Maybe it's more of an identification game. Can you identify or name who this particular person is or what this person's job is? So, first question here. What is his job? Yeah, that's right. He's a policeman. That's good. What about this person? What's this person's job? Ah, that's right. She is a doctor. Good job. All right, let's do another one. What is this person's job? Ah, yes. He's a firefighter or a fireman. That's that's wonderful. Good stuff. All right, so um, uh, if you are ever in danger, you can call a policeman and the policeman will come and help you um, and you can recognize who uh, that person is coming to help you by what they're wearing so because of the person's uniform that they had on you were able to recognize that he was a policeman and then if you're sick you go see a doctor and uh, that lady you knew was a doctor from um, the way she was dressed and um, the tools that she was using to listen to your breathing or listen to your heart it's called a stethoscope and then the, the firefighter was there, you could tell also by the way he was dressed and by the truck that he was in, that he was a firefighter. And oftentimes, firefighters will show up not just to help with fires, but if you're ever in a car accident or sometimes if you call someone um, and maybe needing a police officer, the firefighter may get there first um, instead of the police officer. Firefighters show up to help with many things, not just fires. Um, what about this? Who, who's this person? Ah, that's right, Rapunzel. That's good, Rapunzel, and you know, because she has really long hair, and you got that little lizard on her shoulder. What about this person? Who, who's this person? That's right, Kristoff. You could tell by the way he was dressed that that person was pretending to be Kristoff. So, um, sometimes by the things you do, people can recognize you. By the way you dress, people can also recognize you. So, um, let's play a little game. Go to your room and put on a costume. Or get some toys or something to try to pretend to be someone else. Um, and come back and see if your family can guess who you're pretending to be by the way you're dressed or by the things that you are doing. Alright, so pause this video and go do that. Thank you. Alright, was, was that a fun game? Did you have fun pretending to be someone else? I bet it was fun. Um, so Jesus asked his disciples one day, who do people say I am? am and so when they asked this um or when he asked this to them you know it's by the things he said and did um that people could guess like what his job was right or what um what type of person he was and so the disciples said well people say that you're a prophet and so prophets speak the word of god prophets in the bible also it's sometimes perform miracles um so they said yeah you're a prophet or some people said he's a good teacher because he did teach God's word, and he was a very good teacher. So they said, oh, you're a teacher or a prophet. But Peter, one of Jesus' closest disciples, he had a different answer, a much closer, better answer. Because Jesus was a teacher, and he was a prophet. He did perform miracles. He did speak God's word. But Peter gave a much better answer. Peter said, you are the living son of God. You are the Christ. And Christ means savior or anointed one and in jesus's day the people that were anointed that had oil poured on them uh were kings prophets and priests and so jesus was all three of these he was a king prophet and priest and as the christ he was the savior so he's the king not just of the jews but the king of all people and all things all animals he's the king over everything and he's able to save us as king over everything and all people. Um, as the prophet, he was the word of God. He not just spoke God's word, he was the word of God. Um, he spoke God's word perfectly. Um, and as priest, priests typically would make sacrifices um, and give them to God for other people. Jesus um, actually sacrificed himself. He died on the cross for us for our sins 
so that we might be forgiven by God. So he actually sacrificed himself. And then Jesus, being the Savior, rose up from the grave, came back to life again. And he said, I will come back. And everyone that dies, anyone that you know, that have you known anyone that's died? It's really sad. Maybe you've had a, you don't know someone that's died. You've um, maybe seen movies where people have died, like Anna and Elsa, their, their parents died. Um, so it's, it's very sad, like people die. But Jesus has power over death. He came back to life. And he said he's going to come back. He's going to raise everyone back to life. And those that have faith in him who believe him to be the Son of God, the Christ, the King of all, the Word of God, the priest that dies and for our sins, it makes a sacrifice of himself for our sins. He said, I'm going to raise you to eternal life so that you will have life forever. And that's really good news. And Peter recognized that Jesus was the Son of God and that he was the Savior by all the many miracles he did, healing people, his great teaching. He recognized that he was not just any other prophet from the Bible, that Jesus really was the Son of God. Can you say it with me? Jesus is the Son of God, the Christ, the Savior. Say it with me. Jesus is the Son of God the Christ, the Savior. And that really is good news because it shows us who can save us from all our problems. The police can't always save us. The doctor can't always save us. Firefighters can't always save us. Christoph won't always be there to save us. Um, but Jesus will save us from our biggest problems, sin, death, and the devil. Maybe in a new, another chat we'll talk more about the devil. Um, that's our greatest enemy um, against God and God's people. All right, kids, um, I hope you have a good week, and I'll see you with another gospel chat.